Hello Pisces and welcome to your reading by the Blessings Foundry. Today's reading is a general reading to see what messages and guidance Spirit has for you at the time you view this video. Spirit, please connect to the Pisces subscribers of this channel and their guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, and higher selves in high vibrational energy to get the messages and guidance that Pisces needs for their soul's journey at the time they view this video. Let's see what we get for you today, Pisces. Spirit, what messages and guidance do you have for Pisces at the time they view this video? We have two messages coming out. The first one is the Queen of Coins. This could have to do with your security, your stability. Queen of Penta Queen of Coins is Queen of Pentacles, is feminine earth energy. Le Virgo Taurus Capricorn. The next card we have is decision making, judgment, making a judgment call. There could be a decision that influences your finances, your security, your stability, maybe even work or something around your home. What other messages do you have for Pisces, please? The next message we have is the Seven of Cups. So new goals, new visions. Um, I'm hearing this could be online dating as well. But really, the Seven of Cups speaks to fantasy thinking. We'll see what's going on with this. Making a decision about an option as well. What other messages do you have for Pisces? Please, Spirit, show us clearly. What other messages do you have for Pisces for this reading? Hold on. And we have the next card is the sun. This is one of the happiest cards you can have in the deck. Leo energy. So an option, I feel an option is coming through that is going to make you very happy. The sun is also good news. The next card we have is the eight of cups. This good news is going to enable you to walk away and move on from something that was less favorable for you. And let's see what the next card is. What is the next card you have for the next message for Pisces? Then we have the Ace of Cups. So we are seeing here, Pisces, a progression. As you walk away from something that is no longer suitable or no longer emotionally fulfilling for you, you're walking to your Ace of Cups. The Eight of Cups with the Ace of Cups is the Nine of Cups. So we are seeing out of the options you have before you, you're making a decision, I feel, regarding your security and your stability to move towards something much more fulfilling. And this is good news, good energy that's happening. It's a very good shift for you. What is this Queen of Coins for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Queen of Coins? Thank you. For the Queen of Coins, we're having the Three of Swords. So something in your current energy is no longer viable or you've been dealing with some type of heartache and loss and pain um, in your grounded center. That This is really what's making this a uh, time for you to move on is that you're... You're needing to move on from this heartache and this pain, however that is for you. What is this Three of Swords, please? What is this Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Thank you. And we have the Magician coming out for the Three of Swords. So you're using your energy to no longer focus on what was, but to focus on what is. And that's what's helping you. Magician is, the, is, a, is a one. So we see you're moving towards a new beginning because you're making a judgment call over your life. What is this judgment for Pisces, please? Thank you for this judgment. We are getting the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, Feminine, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Let's see some more information about this judgment card. What else do we need to know about this judgment card, please, Spirit? There could be a feminine or fire energy around you that's making a decision and is communicating the news to you. But more, this could be that you're making a decision here and moving forward. What is this Queen of Wands for Pisces, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Queen of Wands? And the Queen of Wands is the Queen of Swords. So we have almost every Queen except the Queen of Cups out on this table. So there's, I feel there's a lot of people around you who may be making decisions about you. But this is also about you stepping into the different characteristic energies of the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, to really get something done. What is this Page of Wands for Pisces? What does Pisces need to know about this Page of Wands? And we have the Page of Cups. So you've been putting yourself out there. This is another message coming through. You could have messages coming through from a Queen of Wands energy and a Queen of Swords. So multiple messages coming through. The Seven of Cups could also represent the multiple messages, the multiple options that you're going to be having. What is this Seven of Cups, please? What does Pisces need to know about this Seven of Cups? Which ones do you want, Spirit? 
I'm not sure, so let's ask again. What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces? Please, Spirit, show us clearly. Thank you. We have the Four of Wands. This is going to lead you to a new foundation. You're on the right path, 11-11, celebrating something coming in, celebrating a victory, a manifestation. What is the Seven of Cups, please? One more card. One more card for the Seven of Cups for Pisces. Thank you. And here for the Seven of Cups, you're going to have a decision to be making regarding which new foundation or which path is right for you uh, out, as we see out of the seven of cups what is this four of wands for pisces and for the four of wands we see a communication about some type of offer coming towards you where you will need to discern and make sure you're on the right path that you're selecting the right choice this reading is really about your choices and your options and your opportunities what is this two of pentacles please one deck what is this two of pentacles for Pisces, please? Making a decision. What is this two of pentacles, please? I'm hearing you could have two very good opportunities before you. And here we have the hangman, but you need to let go of one. In order to have the one you want, something is needed to be let go of. And you're wanting to have the opportunity that's going to put you in the best position. So you may need to take a little bit of time to think about um, what you what you want to choose the king of swords is also masculine libra gemini and aquarius energy here what is the sun for pisces what does pisces need to know about the sun and we have the eight of pentacles one more card for the sun and the knight of pentacles along with the seven of cups cup knight of cups Clarifying the sun, we have the eight of pentacles, the knight of cups, and the seven of cups coming out again. So you're really focusing on an offer, some type of change that's coming in here. Seven of cups for the second time. You're really evaluating what it is you want, what it is that's going to be best for you. It could be work-related, a project-related, or something you're focusing on. As you're focusing on something else, and a new offer could come in and put a new option on your table. What is this Eight of Pentacles for Pisces, please? For the Eight of Pentacles, you're focusing on putting a burden down. You're focusing on closing something out. And this Knight of Cups, please. For the Knight of Cups, you're making change. In your world, you're going to have change. The Knight of Cups is ushering, ushering in a new opportunity. The Wheel of Fortune is turning on your behalf to bring you these opportunities. What is the Seven of Cups for Pisces, please? Thank you. And we have the Three of Pentacles coming together with the right partnership that's going to be good for you. You're really bringing your skills and talents to bear, and this is what's going to help you move forward. What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces, please? What is this Eight of Cups for Pisces? Thank you. We have the Emperor coming out, and we also have the Page of Swords and the world card. So there is going to be a decision made here where you are going to step through a new doorway, stepping into a new horizon, a new frontier. I'm hearing there might be some negotiations that occur. Let's clarify this emperor. The emperor is Aries energy. So this could very well be that you're moving on during Aries season, which is only a few weeks away. What is this emperor for Pisces? What is this emperor? Thank you. For the emperor, we're having the page of swords come out for the second time. So this is communicating something. What is this page, this second page of swords, please? We have two cards. And yeah, so we see you're, you're going to make a choice that's putting you in the pla place of most peace. The emperor being Aries energy is also representing organizations, power structures, leadership as well what is this world card for pisces please thank you and we have the five of cups so please be mindful that you're not focusing on what was as you're moving towards what will be you're closing out this cycle this chapter of grieving of mourning three of swords five of cups you know this is something that's happening for you to bring you into this ace of cups this new emotional beginning this clean slate energy what is this ace of cups for pisces please what does Pisces need to know about this Ace of Cups? And we have here the Empress. This is absolutely gorgeous, Pisces. You're going into a much more abundant time. What you're leaving behind is going to fall into the shadows of your mind while the sun is going to shine on you and this new opportunity. Much more abundance, much more creative energy. What is this Empress for Pisces, please? 
What does Pisces need to know about this Empress? Thank you. And we have the Queen of Wands. So you are a super attractor. We have the Queen of Wands twice. So this may be end up being the option you choose that leads you to more abundance. One more card for this Empress, please. Thank you. And we have the Four of Pentacles, reinforcing the fact that this is going to be much more solid, much more stable for you. Let's get one card for the overall energy of this reading for you. Pardon me. Spirit, one card for the overall energy of this reading for Pisces, please. And we have Choose Wisely coming out. So you are definitely going to be having a choice, a judgment call, a choice to make regarding two different roads to travel down. The one you're currently in has lost its viability or it has brought you some type of heartache and pain. So we see you moving forward into something much better here. Spirit, one oracle for Pisces, please. One oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. One oracle for this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. Show us clearly what they need to see. One oracle for Pisces, please, Spirit. Show us clearly what Pisces needs to see. Maybe we won't get one today, guys. There we go. And here we have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. And this is exactly what you're going, Pisces. You're going in the direction of hope. You're going in the direction of growth, of expansion, and increasing your awareness. So whatever opportunity will afford you that, that is an indicator also of where you may want to go with your new beginning. Spirit, one herb oracle for Pisces. One herb oracle for Pisces for this reading, please. One herb oracle for Pisces. And this one right here. And here we have ritual. So some of you may be performing rituals or have a pattern of behavior that you're used to. Um, I'm also hearing rituals are speaking what you want into existence. Spirit, one angel answers for Pisces for this reading, please. One angel answers for Pisces. And I know the readings have been shorter lately, Pisces, but the energy comes out and I read it. And that's how much information spirit has for you at this time. So it's not me trying to shorten the readings. It's just the message comes out in however long it takes to come out. And we have trust. So trust that you are being led. Trust that you are making the right best decisions for yourself. Spirit, one fortune cookie oracle. And we have declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you wish to avoid. So we do see the energy of declutter and letting go. So you may, in this process, let go of some things because you're going into a new season of growth. You're trusting where you're being led and making wise decisions for yourself. This is the message I have for you today, Pisces. God bless.